Hey, I'm back. And I was thinking to myself that there is another option besides just your hard drive when it comes to storing video assets, and that would be Dropbox. And I don't really think of Dropbox that much. I used to use it more, but in case you're not familiar with it, I just thought I would show it to you. So Dropbox is like OneDrive. Um, you can get a pro, a pro level um, or a business account. Um, gosh, let's see. I can't even remember like what my, what is my, okay. So you can save up to two terabytes of assets, footage, whatever it is you need just in the non-business Dropbox account. And if you need more, if you're, um, you know, working with a lot of, a lot of footage and, you know, you just want kind of a backup um, besides having it on a hard drive, I would say, uh, think about Dropbox. So Dropbox is essentially like cloud storage. And I believe that my, um, oh, my plan just got an upgrade. I believe I paid something like $12 a month for this. And, um, you can see I, uh, used to use it a lot more. And this is can be handy when you're uh, sharing files with somebody. Here's, um, we, uh, remember I gave you that footage that was uh, stock footage. I stored that up here, or I put it in here while, while I was um, transferring it. So, and you can, you know, do whoops, more or less most of the same things that you could do with OneDrive on Dropbox. Oh, sorry, I somehow closed myself out of Dropbox. Okay, so basically it's the same basic thing. You, you Over here, you might want to upload a file. You got to be able to find it. These are all that stock footage, but what if I wanted to upload that teaser that I just showed you from Premiere? So I'm going to find that on my hard drive, here's my Zoom videos, my compile, and otherwise, if I didn't know where that was, it would be like a needle in a haystack, and you can see I've got a lot of folders and a lot going on, so it's nice to be able to, like, have that, um, what do they call it, like a um, convention uh, of saving things in a certain way every time, so it just makes it easier to find stuff. Let's create a new folder for this and call it, I'm going to name it the same uh, thing that I named the folder on my hard drive. Let's create that. And then it's just going to upload. Oop, there we go. And you can see the little, oh, it's going so fast. Usually this does not go that fast. Depending on your computer, what your upload speed is, this can be quite slow. It can bog down um, other things you're trying to watch, like maybe Netflix or something. And here we go, and here it is. So it just occurred to me that you, some of you may find that helpful to be able to have a uh, Dropbox as, as an alternative to a hard drive. Um, just thought I would throw it out there because it is something people use and, um, you know, you might want to, might want to consider it.